All right, our first guest is a marketing expert. He's an authority on Google, on various online tools, and on small business and retail. He's here to help us take a hard look at technology disruption and clear away the fog of where we fit. Please welcome Mr. Larry Thaler. You start to see the practicality of the technology, the practicality of the future. Above all else, Google wants you to understand the mathematics of a good customer. The most disruptive things are the most basic things that tend to get forgotten with all the glitz and glamour. Mm -hmm. He's spoken for companies like Microsoft, UPS, General Electric. And he's a best-selling author, top-rated keynote speaker. He is regularly featured on USA Today, CNN Money, Fortune, Fast Company. He's going to kind of spill the beans on some secrets that no one else is willing to tell you. That's like true. That. So let's get a few things straight. One, easy is not a topic for today, for tonight. We're not gonna talk about anything that's easy to do. It doesn't seem like that. This is the crowd for that anyway. Not losing is not winning. We have to get that clear as well. And third, in our connected world, second is never very far from first. That being said, I have 106 slides and I have 45 minutes in which to present them. It gives me 25.471 seconds per slide. So, buckle up. It's going to move pretty quick up here in a Thunderdome. 52% of people, your customers, will have higher expectations this year than they did last year. Has your output increased by 52%? You know. it's, it's not enough to be found nowadays. <clears throat> you still have to be chosen. Yeah. And, and maybe disruption or technologies that your industry is not using or competitors aren't using, maybe that gets you some attention. But if you forget about the thing that that's really meant to do, is the attention is supposed to allow me to make a connection, to build a relationship, to be chosen. If you don't get chosen, it doesn't matter how many people give you a thumbs up or like you or look at your video or any of those types of things, or download your app, you're still not being chosen. You're still not going to be in business. There are 41 varieties of Tide. Only two are delicious. <laughs> 41 varieties. 41 varieties of Tide. It is a very noisy world we live in. Your customers, the average American, is exposed to 1,000 marketing messages daily. 999 not counting this one. It's a lot. Your customers are bombarded and every day, more and more and more people want a piece of their attention. So what chance do you have? You have to be better at grabbing your piece of their attention. That you cannot possibly be a good marketer, not even remotely close to being a good marketer, if you don't understand sales. How can you market to someone if you don't know why people buy in the first place? Sales teaches us those things. So today we market based on what they've already done. So when someone buys a guitar from you, you probably want to market other things to them based on that action. Strings, cases, lessons, what have you. That's today. Tomorrow, it's about what they will do. So what has to happen before someone buys their first guitar? What happens in their lives? Do they turn a certain age? What happens in your space to people when they're two or three steps away from needing you? And then we market to them based on those life events. That's tomorrow. So where are we really going? What's next? We're going into an awakening, an artificial intelligence awakening, where decisions are made Decisions are predicted. Intent is predicted. Our customers, we will know what our customers want before they even know it. And this is not happening 20 years from now. This is all happening now. Artificial intelligence is touching and changing everything. So I was at Google's headquarters. Every year, uh, we're part of a partner program and they fly us out. And uh, Google's CFO gets up on stage and she does the opening keynote. She said, if, if we were to offer you a pill made by Google that you would swallow, and it would send, uh, on a continuous basis, biosignals, biosigns, back to Google, would you, would, who would swallow it? And out of a thousand people, only five people raised their hands. I was one of those people. I was pretty hungry at the time, but that's besides <laughs> the point. But then she put context behind it. She knew that obviously that was going to yeah. happen. It was a really cool thing. Imagine you're walking down the streets of Manhattan. Your, you know, your, your smartwatch goes off, and it says that there's a 94% chance that within two hours, you're going to have a heart attack. Uh, please sit down, an ambulance has already been called and your calendar has been cleared. And then everyone's hand went up. Because when faced with extending your life, yeah. you're way willing to give up some privacy for those types of things. Yeah. And I don't know what happened after that shit. We went to this big party that Google threw. I don't remember much about it, but my watch keeps telling me to stop eating french fries. So I, I don't know what happened. 
So in 2020, millennials will turn 40. That makes them, you know, people. So they will have the same problems that we have. They'll have a mortgage and they'll have car payments and they'll have kids. And if you haven't adjusted for them yet, it's over, Johnny. That's it. It's no more time to adjust for millennials. It's time to shift gears because here comes Gen Z. So if you're going to do something, prepare here, prepare for this now. Because Gen Z has been connected from birth. They're born 95 to 2009. That's that generation. Connected from birth. They don't have a world without mobile phones. They don't have a world without the internet. They don't have a world without bot. They don't have a world that they can't get everything they want. They spend four hours a day on social media, two hours on YouTube. They have an eight second attention span, the same as a goldfish. You laugh, you laugh. But it's a very highly tuned eight seconds. It's an amazingly high tuned eight seconds to get rid of garbage and in with the information they need. They can, it's a eight second filter, not even an attention span. It's a filter for crap that they don't need to know. They've grown up in a world where their opinions are limitless, but their time is not. You have to create experiences. They don't want to just hear something. They want something different. Some of the things that are standards throughout history, you, you said, um, you know, now is the, is the time to, to own the relationship. Well, when has it ever not been the time to own the relationship? Does anybody know what these are? These are Amazon Dash buttons. There are hundreds of them. And what they are, I have about 20 of them in my house, in my pantry. If I am down to the last roll of paper towels, I press the bounty button. And within two days on my front porch is a case of paper towels. This is Lay's potato chips here. You can have them. This one's Doritos, much better than Lay's potato chips. Okay, it's right in your eye, sir. Amp energy drink, who likes energy drinks? Yeah, I, I'm not hucking this thing back there. It's gonna hurt somebody. Tom, who's Tom? Tom, stand up. It's not reaching Tom, see? Right in the cup. You're seeing a glimpse of the future, but it's up to you whether you believe that it's the future or not. Not everybody takes advantage of the future. It's uh, statistically a small percentage of you will take advantage of what's coming in the future. The future belongs to those that can hear it coming. David Bowie. And after this presentation, you can't help but hear it coming. You can't unhear it coming. Yesterday is gone. Today is almost over. All we have is tomorrow. 106 slides, 45 minutes on the nose. Thank you very much.